Hello, today I'll be setting up a monowall firewall on an embedded system using a Mac running Leopard. I'll be using an ALIX 2C3 board which has 500 megahertz processor, 256 meg of memory, uh, three network jacks, compact flash slot, and a mini PCI socket. I do a lot of work on remote uh, client networks through uh, VPN tunnels. Uh, so I have a number of IPSEC tunnels that I keep open 24-7. I'll be using a VPN accelerator card to offload the encryption uh, for the tunnels from the CPU. Uh, I'll be using a SoCris VPN 1411 mini PCI card to handle that task. Uh, I'll put links to these items as well as detailed instructions on my site. So, oh, and the site being pc-doc.com. So let's get started. Uh, first thing that you notice on my desktop is I have two image files. Uh, the first is an image of FreeDOS, uh, which also has the BIOS update for the uh, ALIX motherboard, just so I can make sure it's the newest uh, BIOS on there. And that version would be 0 0.99. The second image is um, the embedded image from Monowall, uh, which is 1.3B11. Uh, so to get started, we're going to take the compact flash card. In this case, I'm using a 512 meg megabyte uh, compact flash card. I'm going to plug it into my card reader. All right, and we will notice that it uh, mounted, which is right here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to unmount any partitions that are open uh, as well as find out what the disk number of this uh, card is on my system. So to do that we're going to open up Disk Utility. We're going to click on any partitions that will be in that card and we're going to unmount them. Okay, and you would repeat that for any other partitions that were there. And then we're going to right click on the drive and we're going to get information. And the disk identifier in this case is disk 6. So in my case it's disk 6, in your case it might be 5 or 4 or 7, whatever it might be. Uh, just write it down, you're going to need it for uh, uh, following steps that will come up in this tutorial. So we're going to close out of disk utility. We're going to open up terminal. Let me make this a little larger for you guys to read. And we're going to, first thing to do is switch to my desktop, which is where I have the files located. And then I'm going to issue the following command, which is to put the uh, uh, free DOS image onto the compact flash card. And this is where I'm putting my disk number, which is 6. In your case, you change it to whatever it is. And we'll enter to execute the command. Okay. That's been uh, put on there now. And we're going to eject the card. And remove it from the system. And we're going to plug it into the embedded card, embedded motherboard. All right, that's plugged in. Uh, I'll be hooking up the board to my system via a USB serial adapter uh, that has a null modem adapter uh, attached to it. And that's plugged in. Now before I apply power to it, I'm going to go to terminal and I'm going to hit command T to open up another screen, uh, another terminal session. And I'm going to type in ls. And this is just to double check to make sure whatever device you're using. In my case, it's USB serial. Uh, whatever your driver uses uh, is what you would use on the next command, which will be screen. In my case, it's USB serial. And the speed is 38400. And we're going to hit that. 
and it's going to sit there looking at the motherboard now, waiting for it to power up. So I'm going to apply power to the motherboard. Okay, and it sees that it is um, already at 0.99, which is the newest BIOS version. Um, if it wasn't, you would just type in the following command, which is SB, and that would, and it's not going to do any harm. It'll just look at what my version is first before uh, going to the next step, which will be flashing it. But if it wasn't, it would flash your board. In my case, it didn't because it saw that they're the same. And I'm going to now power off the embedded board, remove the compact flash card, and I'm going to switch over to the previous window. And I'm going to plug the compact flash card back into my card reader. And it will mount. And we're going to, again, uh, we're going to go to disk utility. And we're going to unmount that partition that's on the, system, on the card. And it's been unmounted. We'll close this utility. And we'll issue the next command to put the actual mono wall image on, on the card. And again, here we are with the disk command. And in my case, it's six. You would change it to whatever yours is. And we'll enter to issue the command. Okay. Uh, that Im image has been uh, sent out to the motherboard now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to eject the card from the compact flash reader. Plug it into the embedded board, and we're going to switch over to the second screen, which is still looking at that embedded board, and we're going to give it power. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, uh, you can see that it already sets up uh, a default IP address, which is 1.1, which is fine. Uh, it also sets up a default LAN port, which is VR0, and the WAN, which is VR1, uh, which are right next to each other, LAN being the closest to the uh, power supply. So what we're going to do is, um, now you know this is, uh, we're going to, change the the LAN IP address um, because if you're going to be using this for VPN you're going to notice a lot of people will use that default and you'll wind up uh, running into a situation where you're going to bump heads into somebody else that's using that uh, IP range. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to first change these assignments around for the LAN and WAN port and we're going to hit one and we're going to set up the no VLANs for now and with the LAN interface we're going to set up for VR one, I'm sorry, VR0, and the WAN we're going to set up for VR2, so we'll keep them completely separated from each other, and we'll hit enter, and for the optional interface, we're not going to set that up, so we're just hitting enter, and we'll hit yes, and the system will reboot after changing it.
Okay, now that that's come up, you'll notice that your LAN and WAN uh, ports have changed. So you'll have an empty port in between the two of them, which you can always add later uh, a DMZ port. Uh, you can do that from the web GUI interface. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the LAN IP address. So we're going to hit 2. And we're going to type in a new IP address and we're going to put it up really high. And we'll make it 240.1. Now it's going to ask for the subnet mask. In this case, we're going to do 24, which will give us 255 addresses, or 253 usable, and hit enter. And I screwed up by putting 25, we'll change that. And we'll go back to setting up it again and typing the address. Sorry about the screw up in the last part 240.1 and 24. And do you want to enable DHCP on the LAN? And we want to answer yes to that. And we're going to enter in the start range. And we'll start this at 100 and the range will run to 200. So it'll give us 100 usable addresses. Or we'll make it 199 100 usable addresses. And we'll hit enter. And we'll hit enter to continue. So we have everything set up on the board now. Uh, we can halt the system and we're going to um, put this in the enclosure, screw everything in. Um, the one thing I would remind you is before you put this into the enclosure that comes with it is to remove the nuts from the serial port uh, so that it fits in through the holes and then you just screw them back in once you have it mounted in the case. Uh, and once you have it plugged into the case, um, you'll power it up, you'll hook it up to your LAN and then we'll continue on from there. So that's how you do the initial setup. I'll have another video that will come right after this which will go through the initial setup uh, using the GUI interface uh, via a web browser. So that's what you need for right now. Enjoy. Um, it's pretty simple, nothing much to it. And you can proceed to the next video which will take you from the next point which is from the GUI interface. Uh, that's it. Enjoy. And we'll just pull the power off of this and you're all set.